welcome. So this is a very quick uh, demo of showing um, some some new techniques of developing uh, XMPP application uh, with uh, HTML5 and JavaScript. So um, you can find the details of this uh, in my blog, uh, which uh, uh, from from the details of this uh, video. So I've deployed uh, a multiplayer uh, game, uh, set game, and what I'll do now is this: I will start uh, the client. So, um, so what I'm going to do is this: I will be logging in. This is a, this is a very simple uh, experimental um, Jabber client that is written in uh, JavaFX, and the main idea here is to show uh, how to use the uh, web component uh, of of the of, of JavaFX combined with uh, HTML5 to to deliver a new um, XMPP type of uh, application. So I'm going to log in as the first user, which is Fred, and the password is Fred. Um, so you have to forgive me because the client is actually uh, uh, very, very crude. So what you can see is this, the, the, the game is up. I've already deployed um, the set game, which is written in uh, Vopal. And uh, uh, this, is the, this is the deck of cards, uh, the first 12 card that the set game uh, that the server has put up. So as you can see, this the set game actually uses a new feature which I've uh, developed called web interface. The idea of a web interface is that the a, a, an XMPP external component can deliver uh, as part of the package uh, its client. And so this is the and so this is the client that uh, that 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 you are seeing. So what I'm going to do now is this: I'm going to start another player. What this other player is going to do is it's going to be Barney. And when I log in, uh, Barney will this ba the Barney client will also negotiate, uh, will also connect to the set server, and it will negotiate to find the web interface. And what happens is that once it's find the, find the web interface, it uh, it will enter the multi chat. So as you can see, this is the Barney client. So it is highlighted in itself as the player, and it's found the other player. And also there are some text, um, um, there are some messages down here, which has just disappeared. Okay, there's some some message uh, down here. The really nice thing about this is that I don't have to, uh, because I'm using um, uh, XMPP and in particular MUC, multi-user chat. I don't have to really do any of the broadcasting, you know, those heavy lifting. The the chat server will do it for me. The, uh, the, the chat room will do it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, three cards. So if you know how to play set game, you either find you know three of the same set or you know three cards of a different kind. So there's three different kind here. So there's one, two, three, and I'll try to get a submit and see what happens. Okay, so I've got a set. So as you can see, the moment uh, it picks up, you know uh, the the player, the the set server will. Refresh and will inform all the all the, all the clients about you know the the new deck. So hopefully this has uh, this short demo has uh, shown you um, what are some possibilities that you can do with uh, with Vopal and in particular uh, web interface. So let me just try one more. Uh, this one, this particular set will not actually do anything because uh, it's not a set. So so it's just told me that you know I failed to take. Fail to take that. So the the uh, the, uh, the source code for this can be found uh, at my uh, uh, on the website. So please, if you're interested, please read the blog and find out uh, more about uh, you know how to write uh, games of this nature. Thank you very much.